Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Thursday, December the 17th. Uh, we're in Toronto here in lockdown, as uh, we have been for the past couple of months. But today I want to talk about the RTL and some of the antennas and connectors that we need uh, to use the unit. Now, I'm showing here two types of RTL. That's the first one uh, that I got about six or seven years ago. It has a plastic case and it has a USB connector on one end, which goes into your computer. And the antenna connects here with a small, it's called a CMX connector. The antenna that comes with the unit is um, a small little ver vertical antenna. It unscrews. It's about 10 centimeters long. Uh, 10 centimeters is about 0.1 of a meter. So this thing, um, 0.1 of a meter means the wavelength or the frequency for that wavelength is around three gigahertz. So uh, this could be used to receive microwave signals, but certainly it's not gonna be very good for HF or VHF because they're much lower frequencies or they need more of a wavelength. As I mentioned in the blog post, you need about a quarter of a wavelength to half a wavelength to get decent reception, depending on what frequency you're gonna to listen to. Here's the other SDR. This is, has a metal case. It's got a USB connector on one end and it's got an SMA connector here. Uh, you can uh, get a whip antenna with an SMA connector like this guy and put it on the end if you want. Or you can use the nano up converter if you wanna to listen to HF. It's got a male to male adapter in between here. Now, previously, when I was using this version here, when I was receiving um, VHF Marine in air, I used this kludge here. This was an adapter from PL259, uh, female to female, to a PL259 to BNC, and then a male to male, and then a, then a, a BNC to SMA. That was the real uh, kludge. So anyways, what I did recently is I got this. This is um, a PL259, a UHF connector, directly to the SMA, which is very handy now. So if I want to listen to marine radio, I can put that right on the uh, RTL and go right onto the connector on the antenna. Now for HF, what we might want to do, um, I live in an apartment building, so a convenient antenna, if you're living in an apartment, if you've got a tree nearby, take a tennis ball and drill a hole in it and use about 50 feet of hookup wire uh, and then just use your best Roger Federer toss and put it into a tree and then take the center Take this, strip the um, insulation off, and put that into the center pin, um, of the center pin of the RTL, and that will make a very effective H HF antenna. Because let's say you want to listen to weather facts at seven megahertz. Seven megahertz is 40 meters, so you're going to need an antenna of at least 10 to 20 meters long to get a good signal. So that means you need about 50 feet. So um, uh, uh, you know, a, a good hookup wire antenna like that in a tree would be great. Another thing I like to use is I like to use alligator clips. They're, they're handy and you can just, you know, attach them serially to each other and make any length of wire you want. And if you want, then you can clip it on to the base here. If I take off the base of this, take this whip antenna off, uh, then you can just clip uh, the alligator clips on here and you can make any length of antenna you want, depending on the frequency you want to match. So anyways, that's just a quick overview of uh, the RTL, SDL, SDR, sorry, and the various connectors that you need to match various antennas.